Hello, in this video we will be discussing what is the difference between a fume hood and a biosafety cabinet. Well, these two equipment are of utmost importance to those students who like molecular biology work, who wants to work with molecular biology experiments, who wants to design some molecular biology experiments or who wants to or who is willing to join in a lab in which extensive molecular biology work is going on right so i am dr arindam and i'll be your guide so that you never get confused while referring to these equipment in future so right now you can see two equipment can you pause this video right now and tell me in the comment section which one do you think is a fume hood and which one is a biosafety cabinet so i hope you have already answered in the comments okay now let me tell you the one on the left in which on which i am hovering my cursor is actually a biosafety cabinet and the one on the right is a fume hood so basically they look more or the same right so what is actually the difference well it will be very clear very soon see this one is a fume hood you can relate the picture okay this one is a fume hood and you see a student or a scientist whatever you call her is everyone is a student to me uh, boiling some chemical on a heat a magnetic stir or she might be stirring something whatever it is the chemical she is using can be corrosive it can give out fume right so the few this experiment is done in such a way so that only her hand is inside the area workspace so that the corrosive fumes doesn't come out and she will not be inhaling those fumes so a fume hood whatever the chemicals the vaporized material that is inside will protect i mean the fume hood will protect the user from those compounds so any corrosive chemicals etc anything can be worked out with in this fume hood right so the basic rule is you don't put your head inside the fume hood right you just put your arms the working arms inside next if you look at the biosafety cabinet it's also the same thing it's very similar thing in which which has a shutter you can only insert your arms but if you see the internals that's where the difference is most evident right you see it has got something which is known as laminar flow okay it means it only guides the flow of air in a specific direction right in case of fume hoods yes some exhaust fans are of course there but and it also can guide air flow in a specific direction but what is different in case of biosafety cabinet is it uses something that is known as hepa filter what is hepa filter hepa is the full form of high efficiency particle arresting it, you see both fume hood and the hepa filter can have exhaust to a to outside to the environment but in case of the biosafety cabinet the use of hepa filter not only protects the user it also protects number one the organisms which are uh, with which the experiment is being done and it also protects the environment so we use biosafety cabinet to do experiment with infectious organism live organism that can harm the nature yes we can also use a biosafety cabinet to work with corrosive chemicals that's not a problem whatever you are using inside a fume hood we can use in a biosafety cabinet but it's not the other way around we cannot use infectious diseases the experiment that we are doing on infective viral pseudoviral particle mycobacteria whatever we cannot use that inside a fume hood which does not have a hepa filter because they are biohazardous so for biohazard compound there is the use of biosafety cabinet now in the next slide let me show you a comprehensive difference between the two which will clear things up you can see uh, for fume hood we are using it for experiment with hazardous and chemical and volatile vapor whereas in case of biosafety cabinet it is prioritized for use of solid material infectious biological agents live organisms okay fume hood protects the user no doubt but it 
protects i mean the biosafety cabinet protects three stakeholders both the user the chemical as well as the environment how it protects the chemical for example the um, molecular biology for suppose you are using a dna you don't want the dna or rna to get contaminated so there will be a laminar flow a flow of air in uni direction so that it doesn't get contaminated with the environmental pollutant the next difference we see of course fium who does not have a hepa filter and biosafety cabinet must have a hepa filter again hepa stands for high efficiency particle arresting next fume hoods for fume hoods they do have an exhaust outside the building but in case of biosafety cabinet the exhaust that is the way out not only drives it the way out we don't leave it out in the environment there is a specialized mechanism to contain the hazardous biosafety i mean biohazardous materials so it actually uh siphons out the harmful uh, toxic fumes all the biohazardous material and they remove it totally from the environment so that there is no exposure of either the one who is doing experiment or the one who is standing near the exhaust of the laboratory so that's it for today's video i hope the idea of biosafety cabinet and the fume hood is actually very clear to you all so when you are writing a research project if you are working with any infectious organism if you have planned to develop a model which involves any bacteria virus or any such infectious organism make sure you ask for a biosafety cabinet or else you can easily ask for a fume hood to do with your chemical experiment so feel free to join my facebook group the link to which is given in the description many medical students are already there they discuss on any problem and i am prompt to give the answers whenever it's placed in that group if you have liked this video please hit the thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos please let me know whether you have answered correctly or not uh, by seeing the initial question and if you weren't correct i hope you are Your confusion is done right now. I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, bye and take care.